Hi, it's Chester Tupple at Blue PK Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at creating a button, a macro button on our worksheet that will refresh all of the pivot tables in our workbook. Now, when you refresh a pivot table in the normal way, or right clicking in a pivot table and choosing refresh, basically that automatically refreshes all pivot tables that share its pivot cache. So when you create a pivot table, it creates a copy of the data in memory. And normally, when you create a multiple pivot tables from the same data source, they all share the same cache. So if you update or refresh one of the pivot tables, it refreshes all of the pivot tables that share the same cache. What we're talking about here is where you've got multiple data sources within a workbook and you want all of those caches to be refreshed for each of the data sources. Now, essentially what the macro is going to do is the same as clicking up on the Analyze tab, going to Refresh and Refresh All. Now, the thing with the Refresh All option on the ribbon there is it refreshes all the pivot tables in your workbook, but also it refreshes any external data sources that are coming into your reports within your Excel workbook. So I'm actually gonna show you two methods of using Refresh All. One that will also refresh any external data sources, but one that won't. So you've got the two options. If you're looking for a macro that will automatically update your pivot table as you make a change in your data source, then this video is not going to show you how to do that. I have done another video which you'll find in my VBA pivot tables playlist that will show you exactly how to do that. And when you do that, it will update all of the pivot reports based on the same cache. So anyway, let's go ahead and write the code that does the same refresh all that you find on the ribbon. So I'm creating this in a normal module. So I'm gonna call it refresh all pivot tables. And the code is just incredibly easy. Basically say this workbook dot refresh all. Let's go ahead and create the button that we're gonna to press to get this macro to work. What I might do is just create a new sheet. And to create the button, a good idea is to open up the developer tab. Now, if the developers tab is not displaying on your ribbon, the best thing to do is to right click on an existing tab, go to customize the ribbon, and then tick this option here for developer. You'll then see this tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert under form controls, the button button. So if I click on that, then I can draw a button just by dragging across. It doesn't have to be that big and choose the macro you want to run. Click OK. It has a default name of button one. Click outside it. And now when I come to refresh my pivot tables, all I need to do is click on this button. So let's see if this actually works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some data. So I've got a sales data here being reported in the sales pivot. And I've got accounts data here being reported in the accounts pivot. So what I'm going to do very, very simply is just add a small amount of data to each data source. So let's take this one here. I'm going to add a region English channel and I'm going to put in a value, say of 60 pounds. So at the moment, the sales pivot doesn't include that. Let's go to accounts and do something similar. English channel and I'm going to say here 8,000 uh, it's actually reporting on actual rather than budget so 8,000 there and you can see at the moment English channel is not included in this report either so if I press this button and I go back to my pivots you can see this channel has been included in this report and also in this report. If I want to create a macro that doesn't refresh 
external data sources, maybe queries that we've built within our workbook, then I have to work a little bit harder with my VBA code. So let's go ahead and write our sub procedure. So the first thing I'm going to do is declare a couple of variables. Dim WS as worksheet and dim PT as pivot table. Now essentially what I've got to do is loop through each worksheet within my workbook and then within each worksheet, each pivot table within that worksheet and basically refresh those pivot tables. To do that, I'm going to create a nested for each next loop. The outer loop will loop through each worksheet and the inner loop through each pivot table within that worksheet. So I'm going to say for each worksheet in this workbook dot worksheets next worksheet and then the nested for each next for each pivot table in ws dot pivot tables and then the command is refresh the pivot table and I just need to close that for next loop for pt now what I'm going to do is just make some small changes to the data you can see at the moment it's reporting 60 for that value. For this one, instead of 8,000, I put 10,000. And at the moment it's reporting 8,000 for the English Channel. So, if I press this button now, the, the name of the macro is the same. I've just written in some new code within the same sub-procedure. So this button will run the same macro. Press, press it to run it. And you can see it's brought up the 100 there. If I go to the other one, it's brought up 10,000 there. So it has refreshed both pivot tables. Okay, so thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tuttle at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Hopefully that's been helpful.